All right, welcome back to my channel. I do have another word to share that the Lord put on my heart. He's been putting these things on my heart, which are numbers again. And of course, they are the same numbers. And when I did the video on yesterday, I uh, immediately after I got off, which I had seen it before, but not as much. It was the number 27. So, um, he still has me on this 126 thing that I did about the uh, government. It kind of corresponded yesterday with the 71 God's uh, government unto the nations. And yeah, um, so this uh, time um, I've been seeing the 126 still, uh, the 27. 717, 1717, and um, 226. I've been seeing it, of course, on uh, before I got on here. I saw like the um, 26, so it was letting me know that it was God, um, which that's that's what it, 26 means. Also, um, Two two six, and um, before the the two two six, I was kind of having uh, discrepancies, you know, getting on here and getting things together and things to be, you know, lined up like they need to be. So um, I knew that was another confirmation, which I mean I knew it anyway because when I start seeing things repetitive and um, you know, seeing the same amount <coughs> of numbers or same type of numbers. Excuse me, I know it's prominent for me to be on here. So, um, but I'm first going to come out of Psalm, Psalm uh, 126, and I'm going to read that for you. And it talks about shouts of joy. So, um, and I've already prayed, you know, to ask the Lord to, you know, to lead me and guide me, Holy Spirit to lead me, guide me. And, of course, uh, you know, not from not for it to come out of my own head or heart, but uh, to come through uh, God's mouth. Period. So what we'll be speaking won't be speaking from out of me in my heart. We'll be speaking uh, from God. So um, and I'm gonna try not to make this um, video long, as I always say. But I do want to read this right here because um, He is giving a message. For us all and coming from Psalm 126 it says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion Zion we were like them that dream then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing then said they among the heathen the Lord have done great things for them the Lord have done great things for us whereof we are glad. And I'm reading out the King James Version. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that go forth and weep, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing. With rejoicing, I'm sorry. Bringing his sheaves with him. <laughs> And then um, he wanted me to go to the Isaiah 35 and 10. And then it was Jeremiah 31 and 9. And we also had Galatians 6 and 9 here, um, you know, like as reference, um, as reference words. So I'll be reading that to you as well. Okay. And it reads uh, Isaiah 35. Fifth chapter, tenth verse, and the ransom of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow, and sighing shall flee away. Okay, and um, coming also from Jeremiah thirty-one, the thirty-first chapter. 
and the ninth verse. They shall come with weeping and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Okay, so it says here, uh, Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are the household of faith. I'm reading now from Isaiah 61 uh, and 1, but it actually goes down farther to um, 2 and 3, but I'll start with the 61.1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. This is like a timeline. Um, <clears throat> to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. Third verse, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Okay, so here is um, Psalm 1, like Psalm 23, I'm sorry, Psalm 23 and 1. And it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Then it goes over to 21 and 4. And it says, it reads rather, he asked the li he asked life of thee. He asked life of thee. And thou gave it him, even length of days, forever and ever. Isaiah 1 and 26. These are everything that corresponds with 126. And I will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Now, I read this uh, when I did the video about um, unto the nations and uh, the 71, the government of God. But this is pertaining to that as well, how he's restoring things back to where he would want things to be versus um, what the world... Um, and Satan himself is portraying it to be, um, as you can see, judges and uh, part of the government um, that's falling, as well as the preachers that are not standing and, and proclaiming the gospel. Everything is coming down. He's bringing everything down. And it's like the changing of the guards is what's getting in my spirit. The changing of the guards. He's changing things. He is restoring things. Um, back to uh, Israel and Zion, the way he would have him to be, the way he would have it to be in his kingdom versus what the world and Satan has um, made it to be uh, already. So, um, yeah, but that was part of it, um, of the word yesterday uh, unto the nations. Which is what this is what they're, they're they're doing whatever they're doing in government and um the judges he is judging and uh, avenging and he's restoring he's switching up things he's changing things uh, for the better so this is all he's talking about how he's changing things for um, Israel and his nation which is his nation is Israel again. Okay, excuse my glasses. I would rather not have my glasses on at all, but I have to have one to read anything close up. So, um, uh, that was that, I think, about or for 126. So now, uh, for 27, 717, 17, 17, and 
and 17. So 17, I looked up, is victory and perfection. 717 is to gather, to pluck. So, like it's like in with the old, out with the new, uh, tearing down, pulling out. Uh, it said something about when I read about uh, seed uh, sowing and reaping. I read that in Psalms 126. And um, so, um, 27 goes along with this as well. And 27 means jubilee. So really, actually, it all ties into, um, you know, joy, shouts of joy. Um, 